Best we forget or time we remembered. Time for celebration. One white Australian shouts out on Facebook. Happy Australia Day, everybody. Everybody in capital letters. Oh, these affable settlers that clink, drink and don't bloody think on Australia Day. Best we forget or time we remember. This self-proclaimed ambassador don't say a word of the black brilliance or resilience through massacre on massacre committed by my British ancestors that occurred in the making of this black and white film, Australia. Best we forget. Because when she says that that ain't right, she means to say that that ain't white. Because we are the whites at the brown table. She says they're only 3%, as though that were an argument for adding 97% white wash tosh into her one-dimensional national concoction, but she has added up wrong. There are three kinds of Australians, those who acknowledge truth, those who stuff it under the carpet, and those who have not yet been introduced. And as she bites down into that lamington cake, she stops herself from having to make the ironic conclusion. Yellow, brown, black, white futures now are all inseparably bound by historical, metaphorical cream and jam cement. Australians wanting to reconcile when truth make up much more than 3%. Time we remembered. I say look beyond Lieutenant Cook. Where are the statues or kids' books celebrating our first Australians, like our great Wiradjuri warrior Windradine? Where are the museums or tributes to these oldest cultures of women and children and men in time? How to embrace our past completely, when unlike New Zealand, there is no treaty? And when our Maori neighbours dance the haka, she basks in awe for the love a country had for their culture. But when another lover of his country, Adam Goods, takes a stance, performs his warrior dance, is she too scared of the warrior? Too scared of a truth that could heal our white ancestral affliction. She scratches at sores caused by her it's okay to be white addictions. Too scared to acknowledge the past, she buries as a mystery 60,000 years of Earth's greatest living history.